First one. In the name of Jesus. Write that down. Lord, use me for your glory. Lord, do what? Lord, do what? Lord, use me for your glory. Number one, prayer point. Number two, I receive the touch of the glory of God. I receive the glory in the name of Jesus. Do you have that? Do you have that? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Next one is, oh Lord, cleanse me with your fire. Jesus. 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 The next one is, oh Lord, refresh every dry area in my life. Oh Lord, refresh every dry area in my life. In Jesus' name. You have that one? Oh Lord. Arise. And war for me. How much that you have? Five. Jesus. Rekindle the fire in me. Rekindle. Kingle the fire in me. How much that you have? Huh? The next one is, Oh Lord, give me a life that will kill death. Oh Lord, give me a life that will kill death. In the name of Jesus. We're going to stop there. We're going to pray now. Thank you, Jesus. We are in prayer. We are in the end of the year. And praise God. We're going to pray these prayer points. Because we want God to touch us again. With the glory. Jesus. Oh Lord, touch me with the glory of fire. Oh Lord, touch me with the glory of fire. Oh Lord, touch me with the glory of fire. Yes. Oh Lord, touch me with the glory of fire. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to take them one by one. Hallelujah. Put your book down now. Put your book down now. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're going to begin to worship God and we're going to take them one by one. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. What's the first one? Lord, use me for your glory. So then, our first prayer point is, Lord, use me for your glory. Come now. We're going to raise our hands and begin to worship God in this prayer meeting. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Just raise your hands. Come on. The spirit of slumber, if it is attacking you, rebuke it. Come on. Raise your hand and release some worship in the atmosphere. Come on. Worship. Come on. Do some worship in the atmosphere. Release worship. Release worship. Come on. Come on. Release worship. Release worship. Come on now. Release worship. Release worship. Come on. Come on. Release worship. Open your mouth and release worship. Yes, Lord. Come on. Worship. Worship. Before you pray, worship. Clear the atmosphere. In the name. Come on. Come on. Father, we lift you up. We glorify you. Father God, we lift you on high. You are excellent. You are mighty. You are powerful. You reign from everlasting to everlasting. Come on. In the Kapunda Kashaya. In the name of Jesus. Father, we worship. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you, Master. I worship you. Oh, yes, God. I lift you up. Come on, somebody. Come on. I want you to get out of the flesh. Worship. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I want you to worship from deep within your heart. Yes, Lord. I worship you. I lift you up. 
I glorify you. Come on, you can do better than that. Come on, open your mouth and worship God. Come on, worship God. The devil is telling you, glory to God, not to worship, but worship God. Come on, push, push and worship God. We're going in serious prayer now. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, yes, use me for your glory. Come on, Lord, use me for your glory. In the name of Jesus, Lord, use me for your glory. I beg of you, Lord, use me for your glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, use me for your glory. God, use me. Don't refuse me. I want you to use me for your glory. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, use me, oh God, in my family for your glory. Use me, oh God, oh Lord, at my workplace for your glory. Use me, almighty God, in my church for your glory. In the name of Jesus, come on somebody pray Lord use me for your glory I want to be used God for your glory in the name of Jesus if you can't use anything in this season Lord God use me for your glory in the name of Jesus Lord God Almighty come on children of God pray Lord use me for your glory Lord God Almighty the apostles oh Jehovah God they were unlearned men but you use them for your glory in the name of Jesus come on somebody pray wherever you're working in the church Lord use me for your glory if you're a usher Lord use me for your glory if you're a worshiper Lord use me for your glory if you clean the floor Lord use me for your glory in the name of Jesus Jesus. Come on, pray, pray. Come and pray. Lord, use breakthrough for your glory. In the name of Jesus, almighty God, use us, oh God, for your glory. Let your power rest upon us, God. In the name of Jesus, I cry out tonight. Lord God, I want you to use me. Use the church for your glory. In the name of Jesus, Lord God almighty, we present our ministers before your God. Use them for your glory. We present, oh God, Prophet Max Stewart before you. Use him for your glory. Lord God, let your hands continue to rest upon him. Come on, pray. Use him for your glory. You're not praying. You must pray. Come on, somebody. Clap those hands. Lord, use Prophet Mark Stewart for your divine glory. Undergird him with wisdom. Release revelatory knowledge. Flood him with revelation. In the name of Jesus, use him in every area for your glory. In the name of Jesus, touch the head of the church. Lord God, use the head of the church in the name of Jesus for your glory. We present Reverend Thames before you. Use her for your glory. Lord God Almighty, manifest your glory. We present Lord God, Reverend Edwards, oh God, Reverend Lawrence, Reverend Edward God, Stuart, Almighty God, we praise right now. Apostle Marshall Taylor before you. Lord God, I praise the evangelist before you. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, the missionaries, oh God, I place before you. The members of the church, Lord, use them for your glory. In the name of Jesus, we cry out, Lord, oh God, use, use, use them in prophecy. Use them, oh God, diverse of tongues, interpretation, Use them, God, in the name of Jesus, and of healing be activated in the name of Jesus. Labadonda Kabai, Salabadai. Yes, God, we cry out now as you use David, as you use, oh God, Nehemiah, as you use Daniel, use us, God, for your glory. Somebody clap your hands, use glory for your glory. In 
in the name of Jesus. Somebody gives. He's activated now. The gift of God is activated. Somebody pray. Pray with godly anger. Use me, God, for your glory. In the name of Jesus. Lord God, let an anointed rest upon me that my enemies cannot deny me. Let an anointed rest upon me, Lord, that my haters cannot deny me. Let an anointed rest upon me, God, that the very obia man who got up to fear me in the name of Jesus, Lord God Almighty, let an anointed rest upon us, God, that Father Labat. The wicked cannot deny us in the name of Jesus. Somebody clap your hands. Yes, Holy Ghost. Yes, Holy Ghost. The power of the anointed is. Use the young people for your glory. Jehovah your God, use the ladies for your glory. In the name of Jesus, we go down in prayer. We tap in now into Shira's prayer. In the name of Jesus, any power that hold them captive, we command them to break free now. In the name of Jesus, any forces of darkness, every spirit of limitation, God Almighty, that want to limit them, we break them free now in the name of Jesus. Somebody pray on. Leave a sake in the name of Jesus, Son of the Living God. Use us, God, for your glory in the name of Jesus. Somebody pray. Open your mouth. Pray. Pray, my people. Come on, pray. Pray until you pray. In the name of Jesus. Somebody clap your hands. Come on, somebody. Pray. Pray. Use us for your glory. Use us for your glory. Use us for your glory. Come on, open your mouth and say, Lord, use us for your glory. You don't want God to use you for his glory. You don't want God to use you for his glory. Come on. I see, I see an army. I see an army rising up in breakthrough. I see a serious army that God is going to use for his glory. Come on, somebody. Clap your hands. Libadoshe. Kabadai. Santai. Kambadai. Libadaboshe. Labadimboshe. In the name of Jesus, somebody clap your hands and give God praise. Come on, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on, release a praise. When you pray a prayer point, you must release a praise. Come on, release a praise. Come on, direction. Come on. When you pray a prayer point, just release a praise. Yes, knowing that God has heard us. God, answer your prayers. In the name of Jesus. Our second prayer point. Give me the second one. I receive the touch of the glory. Almighty God. Anybody want the touch of God's glory? In the name of Jesus. Come on, go ahead and pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. We need that touch of your glory. God, please touch us with your glory. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. We need the touch of your glory. Please, God. As you came down upon Mount Sinai. And as you touch Mount Sinai, your glory descend. Come on, pray on. Lord God Almighty. Give me a touch of your glory. Father, please. I cry unto you, Lord. Give us a touch of your glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody begin to clap your hands. Lord God, let your glory rest upon this tabernacle as the glory of God rest upon Mount Sinai. Let the thick glory of God rest upon us, God. Come on, go ahead. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, let your glory touch us again, God. Let your glory 
will revive us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ as your glory go before Israel I pray that your glory will go before us will go before the breakthrough ministry I pray mighty God that the glory of God will never depart from us mighty God in the name of Jesus let the glory that is on us Lord God torment our enemies let the glory that is on us mighty God bring disturbance oh God to the kingdom of darkness come on pray on let the glory that rest upon me Lord God Almighty anyone that touch us Lord God they drop dead in the name of Jesus it's like David when David was carrying the ark of the covenant Lord there was a man that touched the ark and God he dropped dead in the name of Jesus anyone touch us they shall fall down and die because of your glory come on pray on in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Lord God we receive untouchable glory in the name of Jesus Lord God Almighty any witch and warlocks touch us they shall die in the name of Jesus come on pray come on pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ as Isaiah said in the year that King Uzziah died I saw the Lord Lord God Almighty let your glory rest upon us that we can see your God I am lifted up and your tree and fill the temple Almighty God let your tree and fill our life let the glory fill our lives in the name of Jesus let the glory fill every area of the breakthrough ministry in the mighty name of Jesus my father my God we cry out for your glory we need your glory mighty God as Moses declare Lord God Almighty I want to see your glory somebody cry out tonight Lord God let me see your glory Lord God we cry out oh Lord God Jehovah we want to see your glory open our eyes oh God that we see your glory in the name of Jesus mighty God we thank you now that you are reviving us we thank you now you are touching us in the name of Jesus somebody pray mighty God of Daniel because the glory of God is resting upon us we tear down in the name of Jesus we pull down every powers of the night in the name of Jesus because the glory is upon us mighty God we disturb the powers of hell come on pray in the name of Jesus yes God thank you for your glory thank you for your glory God that is resting upon us in the name of Jesus somebody clap your hands release praise in the atmosphere as you release the prayer points release praise yes Holy Ghost the glory is resting upon your hands the glory is resting upon you the glory is resting upon you as you open the heavens as you release a shout the glory is coming down rest upon you rest upon your glory rest upon your glory rest upon you rest Rest, receive, 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 receive the glory, receive the glory, receive the glory in your life, receive the glory, receive, 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 receive the glory in the name of Jesus. Send your glory, send your glory, send your glory, send your glory. God, let me see the dead rails again. Sick heal, God. Send your glory and break through, Lord. Come on, break through. Cry for the glory. Somebody says, send your glory. 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 In the name of Jesus. The glory has been released upon your life. I said the glory has released upon your life. I said the, the glory, you're walking in glory as something. Somebody open your mouth. Release a praise here. If you're walking in the glory, somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Before the prophet come, one more prayer point. Directions. 
Huh? Lord, cleanse me with your fire. Lord, cleanse me with your fire. Come on, raise your hands. Everything that is not of God in you, God shall take it out of you. Shadabodish. Father, we thank you for your fire. We thank you right now for the fire. We thank you for the consuming fire, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, let your fire begin to work now. In the name of Jesus, let your fire begin to cleanse. In the mighty name of Jesus, purify me, O oh God. Remove of the bad ways. Remove, O oh God. Remove self. Let the fire of God cleanse me. Come on, somebody. Cleanse me with your fire, O oh God. Remove, Lord God Almighty, every pollution, every demonic pollution in my body. Let the fire of God cleanse me. In the name of Jesus Christ, cleanse my mind. Lord God, cleanse me. Father, we call upon the fire to cleanse us, O oh God. You is a consuming fire. Let your fire cleanse. Let your fire purify anything that I've released in my dream. Mighty God, I pray that you'll cleanse me. Every demonic food that I've hand to me, Lord, in my dream, I pray, divine God, that the fire of God will cleanse right now. Let the fire of God move in my intestine. Cleanse me, Lord. Let the fire of God move right now in my chest. Let the fire of God move right now in my bloodstream. Let the fire of God, yes, come on, somebody. Let there be a cleansing. Let there be a cleansing by your fire in the name of Jesus. Every area, Lord, that needs a cleansing right now in my life. Let there be a cleansing. Clean out, God, every coro coro. Lord God, clean out every uncleanness, anything that want to hinder me. Lord God, from my next level, let the battle market. Let the cleansing fire, Lord God, burn out in the name of Jesus. Pray and ask God to cleanse you with his fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Cleanse us with your fire, Lord. Right now, divine God, let your fire move in my bone. Let your fire move right now, mighty God, in my feet. Let your fire move from my head right down to the soul of my feet, Lord. Let your fire come on. Yes, upon die. Let your fire penetrate my heart. Let your fire penetrate my lungs. Let your fire penetrate my kidney. Let your fire penetrate my intestine. Come on, pray. Lord God, every bad cell in my body, let the fire remove it. In the name of Jesus, every unknown sickness in my body, let the fire God purify and cleanse. In the name of Jesus, that which the doctor cannot see, let the fire remove it. In the name of Jesus Christ, that which the X-ray machine cannot see, let the fire cleanse. Come on, pray on. In the name of Jesus, Cleanse me with your fire. Cleanse me with your fire. Cleanse me with your fire. Jehovah your God. Let there be a cleansing tonight. Cleanse. 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 Fire. Cleanse. 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 Clean. Wash. Yes. 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 Yes, 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 Holy Ghost, yes, cleanse, 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 yes, the fire is clean in you, the fire is clean in you, the fire is flushing you, there's a flushing, there's a flushing, 
There's a flushing. There's a flushing. There's a flushing. There's a flushing. Anything that is affecting your inside, there's a cleansing. Anything that the devil has released in your body, it has come out now. It coming out now in the name of Jesus. It coming out because God fire is cleansing you in the name of Jesus. Let the fire cleanse, cleanse this church. Every bad seed, let the fire burn it out. Let the fire cleanse, my dosha tire. Let the fire cleanse, mighty God, the intercessor team, Madame Boshe. Let the fire cleanse, oh God, the usher department. Let the fire cleanse the youth department. Let the fire cleanse the men's department. Let the fire cleanse the ladies department. Let the fire cleanse the church board department. Let the fire Ola Badama Kosheke tell me under. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, pray. Come on, pray, pray, pray. Let the fire move right now and begin to cleanse, 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 cleanse in the name of Jesus. Cleanse in the name of Jesus. Somebody clap your hands. The prophet is coming. Somebody release a shout of praise there. Amen. Raise your hands. What is the next one? We're just going to repeat them and release them in the atmosphere. What is the next one? Oh Lord, refresh every area, every dry what? Every dry area of my life. The Holy Ghost shall send rain. The Holy Ghost shall send rain. The Holy Ghost shall send rain. In the name of Jesus, every dry area in my life, God shall refresh you. God shall refresh you. Somebody raise your hand and say, Lord, refresh me. Refresh every dry area of my life. In Jesus' name. Somebody release a praise in the atmosphere. When you release a prophetic point, release the, release a praise in the atmosphere. What is the next one? Oh Lord, arise and what? Lift your hand and say, Lord, oh Lord, arise and war for me. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, arise and war for me. In Jesus' name. While you release a praise in the atmosphere, angel has been activated to be released to war for you. Somebody just release a praise in the atmosphere now. Come on, release a praise and let it let it go in the atmosphere and activate your angel to war. Somebody Somebody release a praise again. In the name of Jesus. One more. Oh Lord, what? Oh Lord, lift your hands and say, Oh Lord, rekindle the fire within me in Jesus' name. Rekindle, 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 rekindle. Somebody clap your hands and say, Rekindle, rekindle, rekindle in the name of Jesus. Come on, release a shout of praise while the fire is rekindling in your life in Jesus' name. Somebody release a praise again. Somebody release a praise again. Next one. Give me a life that what? Give me a life that will kill death. Lift your hand and say, Lord, give me a life that will kill death. Mighty God. You see that angel that has been released on our roads. Death angel that has been released in the atmosphere. Somebody, somebody will repeat that prayer point. Somebody say, Oh Lord, give me a life that will kill death in Jesus' name. Kill death, kill death, kill death. Somebody clap your hands and say, Die by fire, die by fire, die by fire, die by fire, die by fire. Die by fire. Death, die, 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 die by fire. Untimely death. Die, 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 
die die in the name of jesus somebody release a praise in the atmosphere shut up oh lord god almighty somebody somebody has just conquered death a while ago somebody has just conquered death over your house somebody have just conquered death in your family somebody kabatanda kabataya somebody release a shout of praise in the atmosphere Any more? Oh Lord, touch me with the glory of fire. Holy Ghost, I love you. Come on, somebody. Oh Lord, touch me with the glory of fire. Oh Lord, touch me with the glory of fire. The prophet is coming. But oh Lord, touch me. Please, please, I'm begging you. Touch me with the glory of fire. Touch me with the glory of fire. Glory of fire. Glory of fire. Receive 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 glory of fire. Somebody open your spirit. Receive glory. Glory of fire, receive glory of fire, receive glory of fire in the name of Jesus. Somebody release a shout in the atmosphere. Somebody release a shout in the atmosphere. Anymore? That's it. Come on, just give God worship. Come on, just give God worship. What's to ever you say tonight in prayer meeting, it is already activated in the realm of the spirit. So what's to ever you say, it's been activated. Come on, Dakosha. So somebody just begin to praise God and it activate more. The more you praise God, is the more activation begin to happen in the realm of the spirit. Somebody release a shout of praise here. Somebody release a shout of praise. Clap your hands. 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 Somebody release now. Every unshakable must be shaken. Every unshakable must be shaken. Clap your hands and repeat. Every unshakable must be shaken. Every unshakable must be shaken. Somebody clap those hands. Every unshakable must be shaken. I don't know who need to be shaken. You have some strong man, glory to God, that intimidate you. You have some strong man in your family that let you feel fearful, but every unshakable must be shaken. Every unshakable must be shaken. Every unshakable must be shaken. Somebody clap your hands. Say it with power. Say it with power. Say it with power. Say it with power. Every unshakable must be shaken. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. In the name of Jesus, somebody clap your hands and give God praise. My God Almighty, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Prophet Mark Stewart, our bishop, and our major prophet of the time. Clap your hands while he come to us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Give God praise for Apostle Marshall. Praise God for him. Come on. Worship God for our prayer warrior. Amen. Our combination is good. We're good together. Come on. Give God praise. Celebrate Jesus. God bless you. Be seated. Good night, everybody. It's good to be up with you. I promised to be with you tonight. And so I traveled all the way from St. James to make sure that I fulfill my task of being here with you. I know it's getting into the Christmas week, Christmas season, and a lot of people are already hinting that we're not going to see them till after Christmas. A lot of people are out there hustling and bustling. And I told some folk, we can close church till after Christmas. For some people. <laughs> For some folk. Amen. Because once it hit the season, they're busy doing all this stuff. But the work of the Lord has got to go on. And we got to be continuously committed to the task. Amen, somebody. Better keep on fighting the good fight of faith. 
in Jesus' name. What a God. We welcome those who are live on YouTube. Please like, share, subscribe, and um, click your notification and stick and stay with Breakthrough Ministry online. Praise God on YouTube if you're there. Come on, click that thumbs up, like button, share, and bring others on the study. We continue in the book of Jude. We continue on the book of Jude, and we are right there at verse, where are we? Verse 11. Huh? Hello? You have notes, you have stuff. Tell me. Yeah? We kick in verse, at verse 11. Woe to them... They have taken the way of Cain. They have rushed for profit into Balaam's error. They have been destroyed in Korath rebellion. Mighty God. Hallelujah. These people are blemished at your love feast, eating with you without the slightest qualm. Shepherds who feed only themselves they are clouded with rain, blow along by the wind, autumn trees without fruit, and uproot twice dead. There are wild waves of the sea foaming up their shame, wandering stars for whom <coughs> blackest darkness has been re reserved forever. My God, what a description of the false folk. You know, it's very significant that we open the scripture and enlighten the church on the last days and what is coming and what has already come and what we are to expect. We are in preparation mood. We are in end time. We are in revelation. And like Jesus, Jude enlighten us what to look for, what to expect, what who's not who we are not to follow. And I know some people are not so pleased because we're teaching people to be careful who you follow uh, in this season. Yeah, because many comes very seductive pretense but they're not real come on somebody and so we got to strengthen the Jude gave three examples of men who did whatever they wanted verse 10 Cain who murdered his brother <coughs> out of vengeful jealous vengeful jealousy Genesis 4 1 to 16. Remember the story. Hallelujah. Jealousy is rocking even the church and the body of Christ. Amen, somebody. There's some people are jealous of you because God's blessing you, God's favor you, God delivered you, God is blessing you. It is bringing jealousy to some folk. Come on, somebody. Cain killed his brother because his brother Abel brought a good sacrifice, good offering, and God accepted it. He said, Cain, now you need to go and bring something more. What you have brought is not acceptable. Instead of him going and bringing more to God, he went and attacked his brother. You see how foolish people are. Instead of people trusting God for more and doing what God want them to do so he can bless them more, they take time out to attack you, who God has approved, who God has accepted, and who God is blessing. Are, are you there with me? So they turned the shotgun on you. Huh? Wanting to destroy you, you don't do them nothing. You just give God what is God's. And whatever God asks for, you give. Huh? God accepts, and in turn, he blesses you. 
what happened? Some people, instead of they do what you do to get what they need to get from God, they turn around and start attacking you. I mean, if you tell you. <laughs> Hallelujah. I know my fault. I know your fault. You, you, you're doing, God asked both of them, you know, to bring their sacrifice. So instead of they bringing what they are to bring, instead of Cain, bring what he ought to bring. He's shot. He bring what he feel like. What lesson are you learning? You cannot bring what you feel like to God. You must bring what is pleasing and acceptable to God in order for God to bless you. So why are many people even in the church are not blessed? Because they bring what they feel to God and not what God asks for. And they claim that they are giving it to the pastor, to the bishop or to whoever. So they can give what they feel just like how they treat one another. But you must understand this very clearly Christians. That when you come to church and you're giving, it's not to me. Even if I'm spending every dollar of it. Remember, I'm the priest. I am the recipient. I am the, the servant. The one who makes sure that the temple, the house, whatever needs to be done, is done. Yeah, Your job is to bring to God. Remember now, even though I'm the spender, you're not giving it to me. Huh? You're present. That's why in this church, some church you go, you have ushers come with a the basket. They're coming around. They're passing it row by row, bench by bench. I, I, we used to do that. Baptist, Presbyterian. I've grew up in, in many churches. So this is enough. But when I came to breakthrough, when God led me to break, he said, don't do that tradition thing. He said, the Bible, he said, go to the Bible. When I read the Bible, he said, bring all your time into the storehouse. But you must what? Take it to the altar. Present. So if I come to you and I stand and wait on you for it, you're giving it to me. But the altar represents where God's presence. So when you come and present to the altar, you're presenting your gifts to God. Because in the Old Testament, you know, there's always the altar. And the altar needs sacrifice. Amen? That's why I don't fall prey to people coming to meet me in my office and paying me to see me. Yeah? Because you, you're not giving to God then. You're paying me for a job. Huh? So this is something. And, and, and I thank God for the ability to resist this temptation. Or else every day I would have people lined up with their money to see me. Huh? They call all the time. How much, for, how much to see profit? How much to see? Balaam spirit. Divination. They want to read up. And that has proven to a lot of people I'm not a reader man. Because I will take the money, meet them, tell them what they want to take. I'll be rich. People, I would sit in office all day. I would have clients. Because of who I am. Amen? But I refuse. Because when you come to church, you must present your offerings and your gifts to God. Amen? And when God approved of it, then he turned it around and blessed you. He said, I will open the windows of heaven. I'll pour you a blessing and you don't have room to receive it. Don't give to me. Give to God. But when you give to God, give God what God asks. Give God. If God tells you right now, oh, when you go to church, give 50,000. Give. You can't tell God you don't have it because God knows where you have it. As he will never tell you to do what you He's not, you're not able to find. He tell Abraham, give a son. He have a son. He tell Israel, kill a spotless lamb. He know they have a spotless lamb. You can't tell God you're not doing it. God knows you have it. That's why he tells you to do it. And many times he tests you. And many Christians fail that prosperity test. Because they did not release what God asked. They have a keen spirit. A what? Keen spirit. Instead of they give what they are to give, they turn around and come at you and try to destroy you, the giver, whose God is blessing. Amen? Let nobody be jealous and envious of you because God is blessing you through your giving. Amen, somebody? It's one of the meanest set of people I come across sometimes is Christian. They want everything for free. As long as it's for free, they're in it. When they are to give, no, it's a problem. They want it cheap. You know, if you follow some Christian, my God, church becomes the cheapest, poorest place ever. 
Because they're always looking the cheapest way out. The poorest way out. The begging way out. Hallelujah. Have you ever noticed when these people are keeping dance and party? How much they go all out, how much they spend. How much they, when you look at these major events, the stage setting, how these people spend to make their thing look good. You ever see when Christians are having nothing? Hey. Very rare. You see, Christian churches want to invest and put money into making God thing look good. And when you do it, they say you're sure. As a matter of fact, if you dress good and look good as a Christian, they say you're sure. Anyway, anything you do. There are some people who sit. They're not doing nothing. They're not going nowhere. They're not investing in nothing. But when you do, they target you. They don't try to do as much as you are doing to get. No, they target you and try to tear you to pieces. The Cain spirit. Watch that spirit. Don't follow that. Now there is now the Balaam. 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 Another one. Hey, watch this. Somebody praise God. Amen. They have rushed for profit into Balaam's era. Amen, somebody. Balaam who prophesied out of greed, not out of obedience to God, God's command. Numbers 22, 24. He prophesied out of what? Greed. Not out of obedience to God's command. So we have a lot of people prophesying. Huh? Because it's their 9 to 5 job. Balaam spirit. Come on. You can hire them. You can pay them to prophesy. Pay them to curse. Pay them to this. Pay them. Hallelujah. Balak wanted to curse some people so he could attack them. And Balaam, Balak sent divination money to Balaam to come and curse. The Lord showed up and said, Balaam, who are those men in your house now? He said, these men have come with money for me to go and curse. I said, the Lord said, do not curse them because they are blessed. Because he didn't know it was the Israelites, you know. But Balak heard that these set of people are dangerous. And they have a God who fight for them. Hello. Do you know why some people are coming at you and they fear you? Because they know you have a God who is fighting for you. Uh-oh. Hello. As Christians. A lot of people, I realize, I, on Sunday when you hear me telling some people, please come to the church, don't be afraid of me. Because people really think I am a high, high, highly, a man of great science, you know. Because they say when that man speak, things happen, you know. Do you know, in some of the most volatile and dangerous community in Jamaica, there are people in there who fear me dread. More than they fear gunman. I'm telling you. They... Hello. Do you know. In the political arena. <laughs> there are many people. Top position people. Who fear me. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. In the security force. There's a lot of people. Top rank and fat. If you hear some things they sit and discuss about me, fear me. But it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Huh? I fear. It's a good thing. Because you know what is good about it? When you, when Mark Stewart know that the only person I fear is God and the only person I trust is God, and the only person who governs my life and controls my life is God. Thank God people fear me for God. The God in me. Come on somebody. Hello. That's a good fear. That's a good fear. When you know your hand clean. When you know your hand not dirty. When you know nobody can say they see you in a dark place. And they, you know you in a no kangle place. Uh -uh. 
when you know that your faith is in God Almighty, and when you see God working for you and silencing some people, you hey. I said, the Lord showed up a person and said, be a lamb. I see some people coming at your place there. I who them? And when be a lamb, say, wait, God, you deal with people like me? I'm a real science man. In. But all the science man, God will tell if he leave you alone. You know, you hear what I say? I said it if there are some people ever make the mistake. And go as some science man. And then things that then can work, then science. God himself will send the angel down there. Go warn them against you. Hello. One time I went to when I went to, to Manchester and I ready to turn up things in Manchester. I pitched at 10 first time. I tell you, I told you already. When I went to the Presbyterian church, everything was the first time. They don't do these things. So I dropped tent in St. Mary. They say it's the first we ever see Presbyterian church drop tent. Come on, Manchester man, young, fresh, green, pastor, full of vim, big of a, I drop tent. That's how we get licky till the bus because the place tough like a rock. When you preach, you feel it a fire back for you. So one night me get vexed and said, no man, we need a sledger man, need to lick, lick it till the bus in other places. And friend, that is how we get in here. <laughs> yeah man, right up there. But when we start rock up gospel, people in the church, demons, then daughter, people, lot of people possess. We start to deliver them. Them say, wait, I sent Mary this man come from. And come over here. That real said. So them decide to go out for me. So then travel from Manchester to Clarendon now. So them are go out for me. Come and come and mash up them business up in Manchester. Who this man they want to know? So when they go down there and go in at the place and go call me name. The woman, our woman, and me, said, then go to the woman, say, Who you come out? And then said, One priest, and then ma, they said, The woman drop off and cheer. I said, ah. And another one there, can't touch a man. <laughs> now come here, so we don't want it. That one there, I got it. <laughs> and then come back, I can't press it. Say, Something about that man, because then go home, and the woman say, Drop off and cheer. Say, You can't touch that one. Hello, when you are a child of God. BLM, you are blessed. God Himself showed up and said, BLM, don't curse them. And when He decided, when BLM sent more money and the money sweet him, Him decided to ride out on the donkey, figure curse them. You know, you know the story donkey talk, draw bricks, lead on the gut. So, me now I'm gonna further. So, why you beat me for you? you open your eye and look, you know, see the angel with the sword, boy. You think more are dead? Huh? Three times the donkey saved the man. Because the angel said, if it wasn't for the donkey, I bust your throat. You'd be a dead man. Because you hear, say, don't go curse them people there. But you're still. When some people come after you and you on top, God will stop them. You know, talk to me. When some people think they can keep coming after you, and God realize that they want to disturb your relationship and your peace and joy, God will. You see, that's why I tell people: anytime you're a Christian and a child of God, not even Christian, child of God. You must put yourself in a position with God where God realize you have no option. You know, talk to me. I said, <laughs> gosh, I do you know how many people want to see my downfall? Want to see breakthrough go down? Want to see this ministry die? Huh? But this ministry and prophet is in a position where oh, I only trust God. I only know God. I only serve God. That's why I don't care who come in. I was in America some time ago. I tell you people, 
I could have been everything that every title in my book I could have already. Do you know how many people want to give me doctor? You know how many people want to give me apostle? You know how many people want to give me time? People said, plan the service. We'll come down and do it at your church. We, are you come up here and do I said, keep it. The last time I was in Florida and I preached at this church, the, 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 the man of God called me in the office after done preaching. He says, no, no, no. I, 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 I've been reading Bible and preaching, but I've never seen and hearing the Bible being exposed like how you. Man, you're supposed to be a doctor. I said, I said, I do these things, you know, I, I can arrange and come on, give. I said, hey. Went to Atlanta and preached. There was about a house filled with pastors. Rastrum Pack. When I finished preach, man at twice my age. Many of them came up to me and said, doctor. I said, doctor. I said, man, I've been preaching for 40 years. And the things you brought out of scripture, I never see it. So why aren't you a doctor? I say, I'm, 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 I'm only a, a Mark, the gospel preacher. I'm the, yeah, I'm the gospel. I, I'll stay at the gospel preacher. Lots of times, people want to give me. People come down and say, man of God, you're an apostle. I, I, I can appoint you. I say, keep your appointment. I'm still looking for somebody good to come and appoint me. Come here, the bishop at the <laughs> but nowadays we do we only see them. I give people be some sin thing and some ring and some. Me know what? Me we stay right over there. Me know what? None of this. I let me tell you something. The more you can stay away from some things and just sit down with God, the more God you can see say you're in it. We not run on nothing. Come on, man. Come on, sir. Because some of these men and these people who run around and sell things and want to give things, they're nowhere near God. Many of them are homosexual. Many of them have controlling spirit. Many of them are large, luminous. Many of them are underworld people. The things they wear, the chain they have, the rings they have, the things they get, they're loaded. And when you as a good, clean pastor, Go and they see so you have potential but if you go up them 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 want to raise you up. But let me tell you something this when man put you up. <laughs> I tell people all the time, no man can take credit from where I am. None. None. When I was in the traditional church, they kicked me out. They said, Where you are right now, you're bigger than all of us put together. You don't need to be here. Hallelujah. And God opened door. To keep me. I must remain. I'm telling you people. Go to a place with God. Get to a place with God. Where God is assured. If God wasn't assured about Daniel. He wouldn't show up in the den. If God wasn't assured about Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. He wouldn't show up in the fire. Come on talk to me somebody. God. If God is assured. That when your back is against the wall. You have no option. And if he doesn't come through for you. You are going to die. And because he doesn't want you to die. Because if you die the enemy wins. And the enemy cannot win until God allows. Listen. He will. And even if he allows you to die. It means it's your time to come to glory. So don't worry about it. Even in death is God. Because when Jesus' time came, he gave up. He goes and he died. Amen? Sometimes in persecution, you will lose your life. But you will find it in God. I'm telling Christians nowadays, stop run down things and run down God. Stop run down all the things of the world and run down more anointing, more relationship, more fellowship. Because when God is... Hey, God Almighty. There are some little things that sometimes we do. And I reflect on David. And David sinned. But you know one of the great things about God? God said, David is a man after my own heart. You see, when you are a, a woman or a man after God's own heart, he overlooks. He forgives. Huh? He journeys with you even in your weakness. He, make, he said, Paul, I realize you have a problem. And you are bald to me and a girl. But in your weakness, I will make you strong. Because I am with you. You want me to remove, but I will not remove. Let it stay right there. Because my grace 
is sufficient for you. Come on, somebody. When you know God and God know you, all he will use his grace to defend you and to cover you. Somebody praise God. So, Balaam get in a trouble because Balak come for him to go curse God's people and God would have none of it. Come on. Korah, who rebelled against God's divini divinely appointed leader, wanted the power for himself. Numbers 16, 135. These stories illustrate sorry, attitudes that are typical of false teachers. Of what? Yes. They come after you when God is blessing you. You notice a lot of times when, when, when false prophets rise up, you notice what them do? Then go up on YouTube, then go up on social media. What the first thing them do? Them attack who God have a use. You notice? You, all the while you see them come on. Mark Stewart. You get a word from God from Mark Stewart. Mark Stewart. That is a, and the Lord said to tell you Mark Stewart. All the time when them want to come on the sea, their task is to attack who is already there. So if they can get to denounce you, they'll get your followers. Huh? That's why we tell you, be careful or you listen to them. Because they come, and I'm hearing from the Lord and the Lord is talking to me. And the Lord spoke to me about Mark Stewart. Mark Stewart is a devil. Mark Stewart. All these years, I'm preaching gospel, baptizing people, saving souls. All of a sudden, somebody come on the scene announcing I'm a devil. Huh? Come on, somebody. Cora. They want the position. They want to be me. They want to be a pastor. They want, so they come to denounce. When them come on, oh, hope your man come to Mark to our church. And preach, see, they hope your man came to Mark to our church. But when we look at Marshall, I preach. <laughs> and the Lord that talked to them. The other day, one come. You don't know, must be true in your mark. And things say, people are go, yeah, Bishop Mark. So people jump on things at me now, you know. Now you was near when you look. Boy, I know Biden city. Boy, I know come. Me say. When they know. Gone with the wind. <laughs> huh? I go say, all of that. All of that. I have had them. They have come. Every one of them that come on the scene. The first person they want to attack is Mark Stewart. Why? Because I am that one person who has following people behind me, the gift of God in me, and the glory of God shining, and the ministry is going. So if they're going to survive, they must try and take down who God has in them. It shall never happen. I have seen them rise and fall. I have seen them talk. And I've, I'm learning and I've learned just to be silent. Yeah, I don't have to talk. I don't have to defend. I don't have to. Let God fight those battles. Those are the battles that you don't fight. You just praise God. You just keep doing what you're doing and let God. I remember telling people the other day, you know how many people come on Best FM trying to get rid of me over there? Every one of them come on. The other day, Mr. Shaw said to me, what, what, what them people are with you? One woman up on the station here. He said, I'm a friend too, you know. He said, yeah. One woman come here. I come to that boy. Oh, you give Mark Stewart so much hour. Oh, Mark Stewart up so much time. I must say, how much money, how much money in my pay. I, I said, woman, oh, where you business with them? Them money, I build this thing. Yeah, them money, where you business? You come here for company thing. He said, Mr. Shaw said, I got to have a good man kick her half of this thing. Because she come here, I'll be a you, she the pan. And there's somebody where, I'm me. When she has start up her church and some and me go help and and Ivan and find people and put and help her start church. And me then call you know and ask me if we can talk to Mr. Shah. 
other day, <laughs> I called him about um, um, our brother there, Harper in Spanish Town, called me and said, Man, I got want to get on the station there now. What you can do for me? Call up Mr. Charles here time and say, One of my bridge, you want to come on. You have no time. Give him a good deal. Because he uh, said, You sure? Because all of them will come on there where you tell Mr. Your them and you, they want to do it. No, I want thing with me now. It's straight with me. He said, Mr. Stewart, you sure about that? Because the whole of them where you get come on here and tell Mr. Them are your good friend. When they come here, are you then talk? I said, no, man. That one, uh, that one uh, I'm a brethren. I think say, hey, you're good. And he said, all right, all right. If you say so. And he work out and him, he man it. You understand? Most of them and me, them go through. But when they get there, no of them disappear without a trace. Remember one day we in she? And some one of them. Then come at midnight and at mid end the pan. Mr. Shaw said, yo, come off of this and left my boss. <laughs> come off of this and left my boss. You understand? Because when me go the same, tell everybody, at this man I help make this thing out. This place. Anything. You understand? So, there are people out there, even in the secular, who will stand up for you than people who are laugh with you in a Christendom. Huh? Who are colleagues in ministry. That you think they cutting you in your back. Because they want what you have. And they don't know how hard. Mr. Shaw said, they know how hard you work. I come at your place. I know you. you they don't know. They know how Every one of them come here. You, them a chat. I me I say, yo, you know how the man work? That man is ever working. You know? The man, the secular man, defend me against my colleagues who are trying to tear me down for rise and something that I have embraced them on. Cain spirit. And that is why I, I, I know at a place where I realize I cannot be too close to many of these people. Because they carry a cane spirit. They want to tear you up in order to rise. They watch what you do and they want to do what you are doing instead of doing what they are supposed to do. Remember Mr. Shaw said, and the lady is so good, she have her thing go on in her. So I don't know why she she target you. Why she why? You hurt the man because she can't do her thing. So just go and do her thing and stop focus on you. Bad mind. But I like me now. Me now nothing to said to them. I see them here. Hi, good man. Life. One thing I know. Try all they want. Them can't catch me. Me they way too far. <laughs> way too high. To God be the glory. Where God, you must get to a place where God have you. Where no matter how they try. They can't reach you. They can't have what you have. They can't be like you. They can't be you. Everything I do in ministry. People... You have carbon copy now like crazy. But there's something that is unique about this man. I set the trend. Why? Because I am the one who is being led by the Almighty. Many of them, Falls, Kura, who rebel against God's divinely appointed leader. Be careful. Or you rise up and rebel against God's appointed leader. I'm going to say it again. But we have some people in our church who are rebellious against God's appointed leader. When God appoints somebody to lead you, be careful. Or you rise up against them. Because when you rise up against them, you rise up against God. Remember when you rise up against Moses? God said, Moses' movement may kill them. Be careful. Respect, love, take correction. Huh? Because when you are, if you're not sure if it's God, appoint the leader. Hey, I always say to people, I preach gospel, I preach on the radio, I preach on the TV. But there are many people who come to this church who divinely say to us, God led me here. God showed me you. God point you to me. 
God point this. I was searching online and I found your church and something says stop here. And the Lord says yes, confirm. There's a lot of people come to breakthrough got divine confirmation. Are you with me? Now if any such organization like this church and so many people are being led here by God find my servant Mark Stewart. Find breakthrough. Go to it must be that God has approved. I want to say to you, get God's approval. Anything that you are doing in Christendom, get God's approval. Because once God approves you, he will send bucketive. He will send help. He will send divine deliverance to your life. You hear me? Whatever you're doing in life, get God's approval. Hello, somebody. Let's rush on. This is powerful. So we deal with Korah. Hallelujah. These stories illustrate attitudes that are typical of false teachers. They have what? Pride. Somebody holler pride. When you want to identify a false teacher, you check. They have what? Uh oh. They have what? They have selfishness. They have what? Pride and selfishness. They're very selfish. Only for themselves. They're about themselves. They're full of pride. They can't touch ground. They're high. Their hand can't dirty. They walk with style. Huh? They're full of title. You have to give them their title name or they vex with you. You, you. you can't mess with them. They're so high. They can't. Come on. They're full of what? They're full of what? Selfishness. Selfishness. Watch some people who are false teachers. You know them by their selfishness. They go about looking about themselves. They are not for others. They don't look out for others. They don't care about others. They care about them. Uh -uh. We are teaching you now. We are telling you what to look for. Anybody here who think I'm a selfish Bishop, lift your hand. Come on, talk. Tell me to my face. Uh, anybody here tell, can tell Apostle Marshall is full of pride. Come on, tell him to his face. Hello? We walk with you, talk with you, eat with you. We are touchable. We are reachable. We are jokeable. We are friendable. Huh? Many of these men of God. These apostles, these doctors, these prophets. They walk with security. They can't go to the kitchen. They can't drive the truck. They can't sit <laughs> unless security is moving. They move like President Biden. FBI and CIA. <laughs> Secret service like crazy. Pride. They want protection. Anybody who is a man of God walking around with holy for gunman protection, they are the devil. It can't be God. Jesus said, Peter, put up your sword. Live by the sword, you die by the sword. You don't need weapon, you need the anointing. People tell me all the time, Mark Stewart, why don't you have security? Are you a man of God where you are? Right? You need to have a team of security around. You need to let people drive you with security. I say, excuse me, uh, you just don't see the security that I already have. Yeah. Come on, somebody praise God. Another thing about these false teachers, they are jealous. They have the spirit of jealousy. That's why they're always coming at people like me and Marshall. Why? Because they're jealous of us. They're jealous that we have a church. We have a people. We have a following. We have a program. We have a crowd. Where people are talking and testifying. They are jealous. So in their jealousy, they will try to take us out. Number four. They're full of greed. Huh? Whatever they are doing, is to gain more money. It's to gain more attractiveness. So I'm making myself attractive so I can gain more. 
So I got to take on this. I got to do that again. Watch them. Oh, somebody don't like me tonight. And a lot of people have called people online and said, listen to, listen to her prophet in my word. Yeah, that's what they do nowadays. Some of my members do it. Because they are friends with some of these false people. Whenever I'm on, on the radio, or I do study like this and stuff, they call them literally and say, are you in my talk? Listen. This day, boy, are you in my talk? They do it. People tell me all the time. They get called. Listen, listen to me. Are you in my talk? Yeah, in the pie, you know. <laughs> some of my own members do it. <laughs> You know, one of the wickedest things is to have a church of people who laugh at your face. But many of them in there are hypocrites. They, they follow other people and they're more with other people than they're with you. But they're not leaving you. And we have many of them in our church. They're more committed to listen to and follow other people than us. But they're not going nowhere. They're still here. And they want all the help. They want all the support. And they want all the blessing. But they're not into you. We have some of them. A breakthrough. <laughs> I think we don't know. We know. We know who people. People have made their choice. But the wheat and tear grow till harvest. <laughs> We're not in any war with nobody. Those who love us, love us. Those who don't love us, they are. They're full of greed. They're full of lust for power. So all their rise to fame and rise is because they want more what? Power. They want power. You notice what 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 um uh uh uh, uh what this guy um when 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 Philip went to Samaria and when he preached and the people get Simon the sorcerer went to them and said, Can I buy? Because he wanted the power. A lot of people are buying it. Paying for it. I am not paying nobody for no position and no power in this thing. None. We now am buying none. Anything God give it, or what we are steer with. And we are used what God give it. We don't want nothing when nobody has sell. You hear me? I want it. I am who I am. Because what I have proven, man of God, what we have proven, when you humble yourself, when you trust God, God lift you up. God raise you up. We above them. We above those who have all their colors. Yeah? Remember I know? Jesus. Come on with me now. I'm a scholar. Jesus. When the synagogue leaders and the Pharisees and the Catholics say, how come this man attacks him is the one little captain boy? Son, him not train him. Not no, where he come from? Isn't that the carpenter's son? The Bible said 12 when the boy walk in at the, in at the temple and start dealing with the man. Them, them marble, they said, what, 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 what? Huh? What revelation? What? When he walk up into the church and open the scroll and read from and Isaiah, everybody get frantic and crazy till they throw him out, you know? He's not supposed to be reading so eloquent and talking like that. Let me tell you something. A lot of these big umbrella group leaders in this country, that's the problem they have with me. They said, this little man from nowhere, this little one man, he's a one man band. He, he's not, he don't have a big organization like us. But this man, when he calls, people come. Do you know that there are many big church preachers who watch my conventions and stuff to see the crowd? To see how I am able to gather what they as an organization cannot gather? They have a problem. I'm telling you. They send people to watch. Then they question how come him, him do that? Where's this man come from? Oh, we, we're stepping out into new. The other day, we launched 
we announce Monty Gobe. All of a sudden we hear Cyrus is announcing searching place in Monty Gobe. Come to Mandeville. Send people to take my people. Clarindon. Send people to empty my fasting. Now I announce Monty Gobe. He wants to get in there before me. He wants to launch in there. Everybody's watching me, listening to me. I want to either go ahead of me or try to. It's amazing. When I thought about it, I said, God, what is this? Huh? God Almighty. So now we have to pray because it's going to be warfare because they're. Just Christ of Nazareth. Come on, somebody. Jealousy, greed, loss for power. And you know what? Here is it. These false preachers and prophets, when they rise up, they have disregard of God's will for their life. It is not that God didn't give them a gift. It is not that God doesn't want them to operate in a gift. But they're not walking in God's will. You have to be careful or you're using God's gift and not walking in his where? Am I talking to anybody here? Make sure the gifting lines up with the will. Amen? A lot of prophetesses and prophets and, and, and past, all of them, many of them, when you realize what they're about, you know for sure that they've been led away and astray. They're not walking in the will of God in the way God want them to walk because they would be obedient, they would be submissive, they would humble themselves, and they'll be a servant before they be a... Because anybody who you see don't want to be a servant first. Watch them. Any... You're not talking to me? All right. I, am, I said I am a biblical scholar. When Elijah anoint Elisha. Do you know what Elisha became? Who know? What did Elisha became to Elijah? No? It's part of servant. No, but he's cup bearer. Serve him tea. Remember, you know, God told Elijah to anoint Elisha to be his successor. But Elisha start to follow Elijah. And the Bible says he became his cupbearer. He served tea. Serve him. Give him. Short in tea. Follow him. Everywhere I go. Huh? Huh? Now, Joshua left Egypt. With Moses, you're hearing nothing of Joshua until he was sent by Moses to spy with Caleb and these guys. Huh? Joshua don't know he's being trained to take over. But Joshua is doing the right thing by standing with Moses. And by standing with Moses and obeying what Moses want him to do, huh? when Moses died, the Lord said, Joshua, rise up and take over. Anywhere you said, Joshua said, me? The Lord said, do not be afraid. I am with you as I was with Moses. Really, God? Want me to forget this? You just follow Obey and God raise you. Training and didn't know. Many, all right, let me go deep. A lot of times you're in the church going through hell, going through some stuff with people. If you stop see it as people not like you, and people against you, and people this and people that, and seeing it as part of your training for reigning, 
you would deal better with what people is dealing with you. Because God is using some people to be a living hell in your life as part of your training for where he's carrying you to. You're not talking to me. God is using some people to discourage you, to see how you can deal with it, to see how you can manage it. If you, hey, you're not talking to me. It is part of the training. So, it's not, when I say God is using, it's not God literally telling for condition, but God allow, yeah, he allow some people who have a mind against you to act out what they feel against you because he wants to test you to see how strong you are because guess what? He's getting ready to take you to the next level. But you can't get to the next level if you don't pass the test. So, is it God who allows some people to be like ticks in? Yes, he allowed. He allowed the devil to test Job. Come after Job. Am I right? Yeah, he gave the devil permission. He said, all right, do what you want to do. Because you have a mind to attack him. So, you see, when, when somebody in the church just don't like you, and in the mind, they might think what they want to do to you or how they want. And God said, all right, yeah, man, yeah, man, that one day. That's the tester. You know what I'm saying? So God allowed them to act out how they feel about you. But you must know it's a test. So you're not run from it. You're not hide from it. You have to stand up and face it. Because when you come through it, I know the tester or the tempter I get promoted. And you, you understand me? So you must always see some devil men, some serpent and some people that is right in your face trying to make your life miserable from workplace to church to whatever as part of your test. See, when you see it that way, you will overcome. You must know when you are going through a process and when you are being tested for a next level. Come on, somebody. Amen. So don't pay them no man. Let them do what they want. And you just be open and just say, you know, what you have done to me, I have to be in my own mind that you are not going to get me. pandemic is over now and we are moving out into new places establishing and being able why because <laughs> no you don't understand how celebratory this is for me with all the hell oh mark you at first square and love money it's about what you said and keep said yeah yeah well no who at first square where are many of them they're literally shut down they're literally struggling to stay afloat while I am opening up and expanding into new air. Why? Because I stick with what the plan of God and the will of God is. I am not like that. I am not one of them preachers, Apostle Marsha, and so we decide. All right, cool. You must call where I get to my man. You know, must call where I get to go all over the place. Say, hey, no, man, stay with good man. I say, right, stay right there, there and build. And build, build, build. All who can go all over the place. No, we don't have a problem with nobody. Do it. Don't you want to juke up yourself. Go on. Amen. Well, you know what? I have seen where God has blessed us. Where God has favored us. Where God has supplied. Where God is bringing in new partners. And people, more people are believing in us. And more people are confident of this ministry. And more people are ready to sow into this ministry. And help to support this ministry. Why? Because we are standing up and walking in the will. You don't need crowd. You just need God. You don't need to do what others are doing. Just do what is in the will of God. Am I talking to the church? Let them laugh. Let them say you're a fool. Let them say you don't have no sense. Just walk in the will. You don't need to be prided. You don't need no selfish. You don't need to be jealous. You don't need no greed. You don't need no lust for power. You don't need... No, uh, no, 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 no. Walk in God's will. He's slow, but he's sure. 
a lot of times we look at people running ahead of us and getting all the things that boy that should be me uh uh that shouldn't be you them folk running ahead of you they have jealousy they have pride they want to show you up they want to show off on you you're gonna have the last laugh don't worry i'm telling you can we hitch on quickly what time is it i don't have time verse 12 verse 12 these people are blemished of your love feast eat with your, you without the slightest qualm shepherd who feed only themselves they are cloud with rain blow along by the wind at home lord jesus when the lord's supper was celebrated in the early church believers would eat a full meal before taking part in the communion with the sharing of the bread and wine the meal was called a love feast and it was designed to be a sacred time of fellowship to prepare one's heart for communion in several of the churches however this meal has turned into a time of gluttony and drunken reveling in corinth for example some people hastily grabbed little food while others went hungry first corinthians 11 20 and 22 no church function should be an occasion for selfishness gluttonous greed disorder huh? and other sins that destroy unity or take one's mind away from the real purpose for gathering together some people only come at church for food if you say food i give away some people come at church if you say things are give away some people they are front of line and then quarrel and first they want enough they want and they quarrel come on somebody but when worship are going you know see them you know food now sharing lord jesus you have to be careful you say there's something you know because some people are going to know say they may attack huh oh next week sunday we have free food with the whole oh, church full Hallelujah. They ain't supporting. Not even the worship. But make things argue. Eh? Hallelujah. And glut, they come gluttonous. It's a little bit of me I get. Yeah? No man don't like me now. I put no food. Huh? I must feed them. Anything I feed them money by? Yeah. And cost feed. Glut. Let me be here, because they must have a show with partner. Yeah, The false teachers were twice dread. Dead, they were useless. Trees became because they weren't producing fruit. Hey, Apostle, myself and Apostle was talking about it. Listen, you will see us going out there preaching and winning souls and having baptism, having fasting at church, having people get saved, get baptism. You watch these false prophets. All they have is other church people. Uh, uh, I said, these false prophets, they can't have revival. They don't have an evangelical calling. They prophesy lie, dropping our spirit, this, that, that. And people jump from here, go over there, because they want prophecy. And these false prophets only run places that carry spiritual migration. You have some people in here, they don't like me. I want the prophet, they probably over there, so when they like, then go on over there. You get what I'm saying? And when not, not more over there, then take time, crawl back over here, so they my member. Are you with me now? But they are dead. We must preach these things to our people. Some people listen to us in the religious order. They don't like when we preach these things because they know what they may attack. False teachers, twice dead, useless trees. They bear no fruit. Those who are following them are those who they can't bear fruit. I'm telling you. They don't have no crowd for themselves. They don't have no following of their own. They only have words. 
Hallelujah. They can't fool places with new people. Are you with me? You look at a ministry where people are coming in that are producing fruit, that trees are blossoming and bearing. Those are the ministry you want to be a part of. Where growth is taking place, not migration. Many of these so-called churches around the place are migration. People leaving church to church, church to church, church to church, church, church. I already tell them in Montego, I said, be careful. I told them online, be careful. We're not going to quick to take people running from church coming here. When we come down here, we're going to have revival. We're going to have citywide revival and win soul. Because you have some people that jump from Dessa to Yasa and I trouble them. Problem them. No, we don't want a problem. Come on with me. Hallelujah. Verse 14. Enoch the seventh from Adam prophesy about them. See the Lord is coming with thousands upon thousands of his holy ones to judge everyone and to convict all of them of all the ungodly act they have committed in their ungodliness. And all of the defamed words, ungodly sin, have spoken against him. Watch this. Enoch is mentioned briefly in Genesis 5, 21, 24. This quotation is from an uh, apocalyptic book called the book of Enoch. Jesus is also mentioned as coming with angels, holy one, in Matthew 16, 27. And 24, 31, Daniel 7, 10, speak of God's judging humanity in the presence of 10,000 times of 10,000 angels. How many want to be among those angels? Come on. Other apostles were warned about false teachers. See Acts 20, 19, 29. Acts 20, 29. First Timothy 4, 1. Second Timothy 3, 1 to 5. Second Peter 2, 1 to 3. 2 John chapter 7. Huh? Are you there? So the duty to number two, um, so number one, um, judges, Jude, sorry, dealt with the danger of false teachers. Then you get to number two and closing, he dealt with the duty to fight for God's truth. The duty to fight for God's truth. All right? So, a lot of people are offended when we're talking on the air or when we're talking against certain people, certain false prophets or certain people. People get offended. We must leave them alone. We must preach gospel. And but the, we have a duty. Mark Stewart. All right? So, some people say, a bad man, a bad man. And you know, want to see people prosper and him things. Say, him want this and that and that and that. When you see false and you see wrong you must talk we have a duty christian to afraid we tell people say your father you're wrong you're devil. them won't tell you but you know if you tell them you're not talking to me i said the duty to fight for god's truth is on us a call for preservation we must preserve what is truth Somebody said preservation. Jesus said, God said to, to, to them, Israel, I tell it to your children's children. Teach it to them. So they don't go offline. So they don't follow fast. We're not jealous of nobody. We don't need to be jealous of them. They're not there where we're there. They're not in the position with me. Why? But when you see fast, you must talk. We say wrongness. We must not be afraid. Christians are too afraid to call it what it is. Huh? Hey, that Sunday morning message I got played ten times. That message is then normal. Huh? I mean, you know some, some church leader dropping out their shoes Sunday morning. Then probably turn off all the radio and go to church go pray. As a matter of fact, some of them probably go clean up their restroom. Huh? They really call you know? As some go out. No, I help me, I help them. <laughs> Pastor, he messaged there. 
No stone was left unturned. Huh? No, sir. I got some message. Some people said this one is better than escape hell. No, no man. This one. This one. Every now and then you come with one better. <laughs> A dangerous message. But it's the truth. Stand for the truth, man. You can't allow any or anything. Is it true? You're going to be offended and vexed. <laughs> you you got to stand for the truth. Watch this. But dear friends, let me see if we can wrap it up. Stay with me. Remember what the apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ foretold. They said to you, in the last time there will be what scoffers who will follow their own ungodly desires. Hello? Look over to your neighbor and say, don't follow them. They own what? Ungodly desires. These, these are the people who divide you, who follow mere natural instinct and do not have the spirit. They do not have the what? The spirit. They follow their what? Instinct. Yeah? And they come to divide. They come to separate. Watch out for the dividers. The wolf. They come with divination and dividing spirit. They want to pull you away. Take you off the rock. Put you in a pit. In a mud. In a sinking sand. Watch out. We are teaching you know. We are teaching church you know. Come on somebody. The Bible said in the last times there will be scoffers. Mockers will mock you and your Jesus. Mock you. Tell us that the wrong church, you got the wrong money, you follow the wrong this and the wrong. They will scoff at you. Well, I don't know. A hypocrite. Well, I don't know. This all I don't know about now. God, church. Done you. Sometimes I have one family. You know? Sometimes I your closest people, the devil set them up to be scoffers at you. Make you feel like the worst thing you do. And sometimes you will believe them, but that's why, that's why James said, be careful. These are the people who divide you. Follow mere natural instinct and do not have the what? The spirit. But you, dear friends, everybody look over and say, you, dear friend, by building yourself up. By what? Building yourself up in your most holy faith and praying in the Holy Spirit. Number one. Build yourself up in your faith. So have faith in a God. Trust God. Everything is God. Have faith. No, nobody move you from the faith place there where you're there with God. Yeah? Have faith. Build up yourself in what? Faith. In your holy faith. Come on now. <coughs> what kind of faith? A very clear, you know. The most holy faith. And praying in the what? Holy what? Praying in the Holy Spirit. Keep yourself in God's love. Do what? Keep yourself in God's love as you wait. As you what? As you what? As you run for power. As you run for position. As you run to be seen. As you run to look people approval. Huh? Huh? As you wait. You must learn to. Don't rush. When you come to God's business, don't, don't be in a hurry. Don't be in a rush. Sometimes you got to learn to wait on God. Huh? God is a God of patience. And God teaches patience. You will get to where you go. If God wants you to go. Just be patient. Don't run down nothing. Everything will come to you in due time and in due season. Am I talking to the church here? Wait on the Lord. Be. And he shall. Wait, I say. Can I talk to the church? Hallelujah. Keep yourself in God's love as you wait for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ to bring you to eternal life. Hey God. As you wait for the mercy of God to what? Bring you to eternal life. At this we want to go. At this we want to reach. Eternity we want to go. Wait. And make God strengthen and power you and put his mercy and his grace upon you. Because at the end of the day, your ultimate goal is to get to eternity. We want to have eternal 
life. Somebody praise God here. Somebody praise God here. Be merciful to those who doubt. Save others by snatching them from the fire. To others show mercy mixed with fear. Hating even the clothing stained by corrupt flesh. Okay? So we must love, show mercy, hate evil, hate corruption, hate what is wrong, but cling to what is good. Show mercy. Love mixed with fear. And the fear there is fear for God. Fear of God. Fear. You must fear God. Hello? As a man and a woman living on earth, the first person you must fear is God. And if you don't fear nobody else, that's all right. Huh? Come on. I do not fear nobody on planet earth but God. I don't fear man. What can mere men do to you? You must worry about what God can do. To both mind, body, and soul. Man can only kill the flesh. But God go way past the flesh. He go to the mind, the body, the soul. So fear God. Christian people, fear God. No fear man. Hallelujah. Eating even the clothing stained by corrupt flesh. Even the clothes stained in corrupt flesh. He ate it. I speak against corruption. Them say me and this and that. We hate corruption. And the doxology is where we close. Wow. I love it. In trying to find common ground with those who we witness, we must be careful not to fall into the quick son of compromise. Of what? Don't compromise. When reaching out to others, we must be sure that our own footing is safe and secure. Be careful not to become so much like non-Christian that no one can tell who you are or what you believe. Huh? Influence them by Christ. Don't allow them to influence you to sin. At this letter begins to come to an end with assurance. God keep believers from falling prey to false teachers. Although false teachers are widespread and dangerous, we don't have to be afraid if we trust God and are rooted and grounded in him. To be sinless and perfect without fault will be the ultimate condition of the believers when we are, when he or she finally see Christ face to face. When Christ appear and we are given a new body, we will be like Christ. First John 3 verse 2. Coming into Christ's presence will be more wonderful than we can ever imagine. The audience to whom Jude write was vulnerable to heresies and temptations towards immoral living. Jude encouraged the believers to remain firm in their faith and trust in God's promise for their future. This was all the more important because they were living in a time of increased apostasy. We are living in a time of increased apostasy. We see Chichi Boy with ring and bleach out king and funny like hell coming on talking about I'm prophesying. Let me prophesy. Oh, when the Lord talks about, the Bible talks about hell. He don't mean real hell. There's no real hell. Don't follow them preachers. And people following them, you know. Love them and listen to them, you know. When you ever notice these homosexual looking behavior boys, they have large following, you know. These orders of 61 and Zion and whoever, and they're online prophesying and making all kind of qualm. They have great following, you know. No? Huh? Full of science and believing all them candles and them people stuff. And my God, when they're on here and behaving, people like and share them all over the place, you know. And the little preacher, we have preached gospel and nobody now like and share them. Nobody not care, then scroll past them. Yeah? Mark Stewart is on, and Andre is on. Who do you think they want to listen to? 
Okay, okay, okay. Who you think they're going like and share? Okay. Okay. I said if people scroll in and say, oh, Mark Stewart is live. Okay, cool. Oh, scroll up. Andre is live. Oh, Andre, yeah, man. I say, share, share, yeah, man. Mix up, I go on. The church, I go on. Then I'm, I'm telling you, that's the nature and the mindset of people. They're moving away from what is real and what is true to what they want to hear pasa, pasa. We too are living in the last days much closer than the end than we, the original readers of the time letter. We too are vulnerable to doctrinal errors. We too are tempted to give in to sin. Although much false teachers are around us, we need not to be afraid or give up in desperation. God can keep us from falling. Everybody say that. God can keep us from falling. Thank you, Jesus. And he guarantees that if we remain faithful, he will bring us into a presence and give us everlasting joy. Oh, somebody praise God. So the doxology, come with me, everybody. Verse 24, let's read together. Come on, everybody. To him who is able, come on, to keep you from and to present you uh, in his glorious presence without fault and with great joy to the only God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, power, authority to who? Jesus Christ before all age now and forevermore. Amen. A God we say, a God we defend, a God we love, a God we trust, and there's no other. To him who is able to keep us from and present us woo, without fault. And with great joy to the only God. Oh God, I want Jesus to present and say, there goes my servant, Mark Stewart. I don't need man's approval. I want Jesus' approval. Come on, somebody. I, I, this, this, this stand that I am taking, I won't have much friends. I won't have much people liking me up. I won't have people calling me up. Eh? But that's all right. Because at the end of the day, Jesus died with two teeth. That's all right. Come on, we don't need. You need to know that to him who is able to keep you. Huh? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the, den, in the fiery furnace, only Jesus could have shown up in there. Daniel in the den of lion, only God himself could. Come on, somebody. You must be at a place where you know that God is your keeper and your defender to him who is able to keep us from falling. Hey, man will make you fall and feel, but God will keep you steadfast, untouchable, and unmovable until the end come in Jesus' name. The book of Jude for you. You enjoyed it? Be a blessing. I thank you for coming, for us sharing. Nowadays, people don't come to this kind of service. I tell you, Sunday dinners only. And that's all right. They're, they're all good. This is where you sit down and get word and grow strong in, in faith and in knowledge and fear of God and is the, 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 the less attended service. People don't want, they're not making no effort for this. They're tired. They got things to do. That's all right. Are you strengthened? Are you encouraged? Are you enlightened? In Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for the privilege we have to come in this session, in this fashion. Oh God, to stand before your people and to declare your word. We thank you for Apostle, a warrior. We thank you for all those who have come forth tonight. We pray a blessing upon their lives. We pray, mighty God, that you continue to lead, guide, and direct and strengthen your people in the name of Jesus. Go with them now as they go to their separate place of abode and may your blessing and your peace, your grace, and your mercy build us up in faith and steadfastness and in the fear and the knowledge of you, Christ. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us together as we go. Go with us even so now in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for joining. Merry Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Won't start anything until January. <laughs>